Hi, my name's Brian Carter. I'm a field tech over in the East Texas area. Today we're going to test lube no flow and with the uh, Trayvon gun on the uh, split block. So we're going to get over to the unit. All right, we're over here at the unit. You're going to need a 9 16 and a half inch wrench, your Trayvon gun, and a tubing plug, quarter inch. First thing is to uh, break the line loose over here at the lube pump. And then we're also going to get the lines loose at the cylinders and the packing, which are over here. I'm going to go ahead and get them loose, and I'll get back with you. To the line that goes to the uh, distribution block. We're going to make sure all this is tight here. And uh, we're going to start pumping on the Trayvon gun, watching our gauge that's on there. And I put rags under those lines so we don't have no mess. And we're going to wash this gauge. And it shouldn't really, it should just be smooth and go up smoothly. And the oil should be pumping out of them lines. The gauge looks real smooth. As you can see over there, we have oil coming out of these lines. Everything looks good, so we're going to move on to the next step. All right, the next step is going to involve this quarter inch plug. We're just going to put it on a line. Put it on there. We're going to make sure it's tight. And we're going to pump this line up. And we're going to pump it up to 3,500 pounds. When we get there, we're going to wait 30 seconds and see if the pressure bleeds off. All right, we made it 3,500. Going to wait 30 seconds. And while we're waiting, it shouldn't bleed off more than a thousand pounds in 30 seconds. All right, it's been 30 seconds, and as you can see, it's still above 3,000 pounds. So it's only bled about 400 to 500 pounds. So that one's good. I'm going to go ahead and test the rest of the cylinder ones, and I'll get back with you on testing the packing. All right, all the cylinder ones tested good, so we're going to get on to the packing. We're going to do the same thing, pressured up to 3,500 pounds. And we're there, we're gonna wait 30 seconds. And while we're waiting, we only need to test one side of the packing. Because it's a even though it's a twin block, testing just one side is good. So when this one's good, we'll bleed the pressure off to zero pounds. And we will uh, put this line back on in the other packing line. And this distribution block has tested good. And this one's still holding pressure, so this one's good. So we're going to go ahead and bleed the pressure off. We're going to take our wrenches. We're going to ease the pressure off. And as you can see, the gauge is down to zero pounds. So we're going to get our plug off. We're going to put this line on.
I'm gonna go over here, over here and get this other line on. We're gonna get our line loose here. Then after you get all this done, you pick up your tools. You wanna make sure you clean up the job. Get all this oil picked up. Don't wanna leave again at all nasty. And that's how you test it.